Uh, my name is Chelsea Tengrove and I'm a program manager at Empatica. So Chelsea, tell me what is, um, uh, who is, so Chelsea, tell me who is Empatica and tell us about this Embrace watch. Okay, great. Um, so Empatica is a wearable device company. Uh, we make a, a watch called the Embrace that detects convulsive seizures and sends an alert to a caregiver. Um, so the origins of Empatica, we're actually an MIT Media Lab spin-off. Um, our original work actually started in autism. We were trying to create a tool that could help uh, people who are nonverbal with autism translate their inner emotions um, before something like a meltdown to yep. people. Um, and what we found is with the different sensors that we have in the watch that are monitoring things like emotional arousal through uh, what's called electrodermal activity or the sympathetic nervous system, um, we found that um, one of um, these people that had autism also was having seizures. We found a huge increase in their emotional arousal or the electrodermal activity. And this gave us the idea that, well, we could use this um, uh, 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 detection system for helping people with epilepsy monitor their seizures, detect them, and then send an alert to a caregiver. So all of this was from Rosalind Picard's lab at the MIT Media Lab, and she partnered with a group in Italy that was creating these sensors in a wearable device and formed Empatica. So the way that Embrace works is that it will um, detect a seizure using four different sensors um, within the device, and there's actually a, a machine learning algorithm in the device. So it will detect the seizure and trigger an alert to be sent to a caregiver. So it will pair via Bluetooth to a smartphone, and then it will trigger a, a text message and a phone call to be sent to a caregiver. So this means that a parent, a neighbor, a teacher will have an alert as the seizure is happening so that they can come and check on their loved one and make sure that they're okay. So it's been really impactful for families. Um, you know, we're really trying to combat and spread the word about things like SUDEP. So yeah. it's, we're, we're happy that uh, we're able to get this out to people. We got FDA cleared in January. So uh, it's, a, it's been a big step for us and we're just happy to be making this difference. That's really great because I, I saw the, the watch here um, two years ago when it kind of was oh, in, a, cool. in a beta okay. alpha stage. Yes, yeah. And um, now seeing it's uh, how it's progressed yeah. um, into different uh, different versions yeah. of it, yeah. um, it's it's been really kind of uh, useful. So I've been looking at things like how it records sleep yeah. patterns as yeah. well. Uh -huh. um, you do know a lot about it, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah so, so tell me about the, uh, so you told us briefly okay. about the watch, yeah. tell us about the app. Okay, great. Uh, so we have two applications, the Alert app, which I talked about a little bit, how we can send alerts to different caregivers. Um, but the Mate app is actually tracking your sleep and activity, so we're using the sensors on the device to monitor um, sleep and activity. So for example, you can look at tosses and turns in the middle of the night, um, see if you're having an interruption, maybe getting up in the middle of the night. This can be valuable for some people who have um, maybe like a focal ep epilepsy yeah. where they're getting up and not aware of it. Yeah. Um, and you're also able to monitor your activity, so steps during the day. Um, but it's re automatically recording convulsive seizures so that if you're having them in the middle of the night, um, you're, um, you'll be able to see that in the morning. And all of this information is uploaded to a cloud portal where you can download a report and share it with your doctor. So it really provides valuable information on seizure frequency. Yeah. Um, it's a bit more accurate than an, a regular seizure diary. Chelsea, does it um, does the app use health kits and plug into 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 that? Does it use what? Does it use use Apple's health kit as its base on that? Uh, no. So we've created our own system. So we're really a full stack company. Okay. We've developed the software, the hardware, um, the the algorithm procedure yeah. detection so um, it's um, it's only in the embrace watch and that's right. because we have specific sensors that um, that make our algorithm for detection a bit more sensitive than something like the Apple watch okay. um, tell me about battery life because that's also really yeah important. oh great question um, so the embrace can uh, it will last for a little bit over 24 hours but actually just this week we announced the release of embrace 2 um, so this is a, a watch that has the same machine learning algorithm and system that that has been FDA cleared um, for detecting and sending an alert, yeah. uh, but it will last for over 48 hours and it's a faster charge time, so patients can wear it for longer and be covered um, knowing that they don't need to take it off and charge it. Yeah. So it's waterproof, comfortable. Um, we also have new uh, leather bands, 
so you can sort of customize it yeah. a bit more for yourself. And also sensitivity on the skin, so some bands can be sensitive. Right, exactly, yeah. So um, just really for the user's comfort, whatever fits their lifestyle better. Yeah. So. so tell me about the sensors on the other side. Oh. Does, it, does it pick up heart rate uh, or uh, skin temperature? Uh, yeah, um, oh, so uh, yes, there are sensors on the bottom of the watch. Yeah. Um, so these are actually electrodes that have a multi-purpose uh, function. Um, so it's monitoring electrodermal activity, so this change in skin conductance. Yep. Um, but it's also monitoring skin temperature. Uh, it's also where we charge the device, so it's really easy to just sort of plug it into a computer. Uh, you just sort of sit it in a USB charger. Yep. Um, and there's also an accelerometer and gyroscope within so the watch, yep. so it's detecting the movement as yep. well. Okay. Um, great. Uh, so this is uh, available worldwide as well? Yes. Yes. Um, available everywhere. Um, you can pre-order the Embrace 2 today and it will start shipping at the end of November. Um, in the U.S., since we are a medical device now uh, with yeah. the FDA clearance, um, we uh, ask that your doctor write your prescription and upload it to our website. Um, throughout the world, though, you can order it um, without a prescription. Okay. So for me, as a person with epilepsy and autism, yes. why should I get a watch? Um, it really uh, protects you. Um, it gives you more freedom to live your life. You can go out on your own, live your life, and know that if you have a seizure, you're covered. Um, whoever um, you've designated as a caregiver will be there for you when you're in when you're in need. So, All right. Yeah. And finally, Chelsea. Yeah. Um, tell me about Epilepsy Awareness Day, and yeah. what have you seen so far? It's, it's been really this uh, um, just this day has been the past two days here at Disneyland have been really incredible. It's been wonderful to meet with all of these different families who've been impacted by the Embrace Watch and getting to hear their stories. Also learning what we can do better and um, and how we can continue to improve the Embrace Watch. Um, but it's also been really wonderful to meet with families who haven't heard about it and just see, to see their eyes light up when they realize that there's a tool that can really um, give them peace of mind. Thank you for talking to yeah. us and have a really great day. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. Very nice to meet you.